सीजीआई चंद्रचूड़ का एआई पर कैसे सवाल एआई को लेकर कैसी चुनौती की बात कही गलत डेटा और किस भेदभाव की बात कही आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस यानी एआई दुनिया का हर काम संभव कर देने वाला मान लिया गया है जिसका कई उदाहरण सामने भी आया है हालांकि सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सीजीआई डीवाई चंद्रचूड़ टेक्नोलॉजी के काफी बड़े समर्थक हैं सीजीआई बनने के बाद से उन्होंने इसको बखूबी अपनाया है लेकिन सीजीआई चंद्रचूड़ ने एआई पर सवाल उठाए हैं हालांकि एआई पर पहले से ही कई सवाल उठाए जा रहे हैं लेकिन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को लेकर सी ने दो महत्वपूर्ण सवाल उठाए हैं वो बेहद अहम माने जा रहे हैं जिसका जिक्र उन्होंने एक सभा में किया दरअसल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया भारत और सिंगापुर के सर्वोच्च अदालतों के बीच टेक्नोलॉजी और कम्युनिकेशन को लेकर दो दिवसीय सम्मेलन का आयोजन कर रहा है इसी सम्मेलन में कोर्ट में आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस यानी एआई आई का परिवर्तनकारी भूमिका पर ध्यान केंद्रित किया गया इस सम्मेलन में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया के सी जी चंद्रचूड़ ने स्पीच दिया जिसमे उन्होंने कहा की ए के दौर में डायरेक्ट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन यानी भेदभाव दो खास चरणों में सामने आ सकता है इसका पहला चरण है ट्रेनिंग और दूसरा चरण है डेटा प्रोसेसिंग सीजीआई ने कहा कि ट्रेनिंग के दौरान एआई या तो अधूरा या फिर गलत डेटा पक्षपाती रिजल्ट दे सकते हैं वहीं डेटा प्रोसेसिंग के दौरान भेदभाव होना भी संभव है चलिए जानते हैं सीजीआई चंद्रचूड़ ने ए के बारे में इस सम्मेलन में और भी किन किन बातों से लोगों को अवगत कराया Indirect discrimination can manifest in two crucial ways. Firstly, during the training phase, where incomplete or inaccurate data may lead to biased outcomes. Secondly, discrimination may occur during data processing, often within opaque black box algorithms that obscure the decision-making process from human developers. A black box. refers to algorithms or systems where the internal workings are hidden from users or developers making it difficult to understand how decisions are made or why certain outcomes occur a classic example of this in the case of automated hiring systems arises where algorithms may inadvertently favor certain demographics over others without developers truly fully understanding how or why these biases are being perpetuated This lack of transparency raises concerns about accountability and the potential for discriminatory outcome. The European Commission's proposal for EU regulation of AI <coughs> highlights the risk associated with AI in judicial settings, categorizing certain algorithms as high risk due to their black box nature. Facial recognition technology serves as a prime example of high risk AI, given its inherently intrusive nature. and potential for misuse defined as a probabilistic technology that can automatically recognize individuals based on their face in order to authenticate or identify them frt is the most widely used type of biometric identification in the administration of criminal justice in ukraine versus ukraine versus russia again the european court of human rights underscored the fundamental rights implications of frt particularly its use in identifying protesters this case arose after nikolay glukin was convicted of administrative offences following a demonstration staged alone in moscow's underground where he was identified by surveillance camera the court emphasized the highly inclusive nature of eparty especially live eparty and stressed the need for strong rules justification heightened protection and robust safeguards against potential abuse this also highlights the critical importance of balancing technological advancement with ethical considerations to protect individual rights and freedom this discussion reminds me of the oscar nominated movie ex machina where the character nathan played by oscar isaac unveils his ground breaking creation eva an ai humanoid with remarkable intelligence and autonomy throughout the movie eva showcases her ability to analyze data recognize pattern and make decisions with autonomy much like the ai system being developed in real life today her interaction with kelly the protagonist 
raise thought-provoking questions about consciousness, morality, and the ethical implications of creating sentient beings. Ex Machina offers a compelling exploration of the intersection between humanity and artificial intelligence, raising important questions about the nature of consciousness, the ethics of AI development, and the implications of creating sentient beings. Ex Machina offers a compelling exploration of the intersection between humanity and artificial intelligence, serving as a cautionary tale and thought-provoking reflection on the ethical and existential challenges that lie ahead to AI development. In the final part, in a few moments, let me dwell on the necessity of capacity building and training in AI to ensure ethical and effective utilization. The full realization of AI's potential hinges on global collaboration and cooperation. While AI presents unprecedented opportunities, it also raises complex challenges, particularly concerning ethics, accountability, and bias. Addressing these challenges requires a concerted effort from stakeholders worldwide, transcending geographical and institutional boundaries, which is the reason for this conference, so, so thoughtfully brought together by the Singapore judiciary, or my own team, ably led by this Rajiv Sattar. Addressing these challenges would require all of us to team together as one global community. Capacity building and training play a crucial role in ensuring the ethical and effective utilization of AI technology. By investing in education and training programs, we can equip professionals with the knowledge and skills needed to navigate the complexities of AI, identify biases, and uphold ethical standards in their use of AI systems. Capacity building initiatives can foster a culture of responsible innovation where stakeholders prioritize the ethical implications of AI de development and employment. The recent proposal for a regulation on artificial intelligence by the Council of Europe underscores the importance of human-centric AI governance. The proposed regulation aims to establish harmonized rules that ensure AI technologies are used in a manner that is safe, compliant with the law, and respects fundamental rights. Similarly, the Council of Europe's initiative to draft a framework convention on artificial intelligence, human rights, democracy, and the rule of law reflects a commitment to developing global standards for AI governance. As the Council of Europe publishes the second draft of the convention, it calls on all states that uphold the values of human rights, democracy, and the rule of law to join efforts in developing a set of shared basic principles applicable to the design, development, and application of AI. जैसा कि हमने पहले भी बताया, AI को लेकर सवाल उठते ही रहते हैं। CGI चंद्रचूड़ ने जो कुछ भी कहा, उससे हटकर भी कई चीजें दुनिया के मन में समाई हैं, जो कि AI के बारे में हैं। चाहे जॉब को लेकर डर हो, या फिर गलत जानकारियों को लेकर, इसका एक सबसे बड़ा उदाहरण 2023 में पेंटागन के उन तस्वीरों के जरिया � दुनिया भर में हड़कंप मच गया था लेकिन बाद में मालूम चला कि वो एक फेक तस्वीर थी जिसे एआई के जरिए बनाई गई थी एआई को लेकर आपके क्या विचार है कमेंट बॉक्स में जरूर लिखें इस खबर में बस इतना ही बाकी अपडेट्स के लिए जुड़े रहें वन इंडिया हिंदी के साथ